Hi and welcome back. This is part 13 of the David Kurzel hit and miss engine build and in this episode we're going to have a look at the flywheels. Got to make um, two spoked flywheels, uh, both identical and we're going to make them out of cast iron which is this is a slug of cast iron. So I'll take you to the plans and we'll have a look and see what the design of those is like. So the first operation will be to just turn these down to size. Uh, these are three and a half inch diameter. And then start to do the, you know, the necessary work to get this to the shape. And then we'll go over to the miller machine and we'll start to mill the spokes out. So the, um, I've only got metric reamers. So the centre hole is the only change we're going to be making. Uh, it's got to be for eight millimetre you know, for the shaft on the crankshaft. So apart from that, all the rest is going to be, you know, as the sizes are here, imperial sizes. So we'll jump on the lathe, we'll get the piece of cast iron set up, and then we'll start turning. So that's the piece of stock faced off. So what we'll do now, we'll start to turn the diameter down to what we need. So at the moment we are ninety one and a half roughly. And we want it down to just around about 90. Um, 88 something is uh, three and a half inches. So this side of the um, flywheel is complete, so we'll take that out of the lathe, chop this off on the saw, and then we'll flick that round and then machine the other side. But first of all, before I take that out, because this is all now running true, um, I'm going to take out the hole here for obviously to go onto the crankshaft. But I'm not going to use a reamer for this. Uh, this you know, I've had too many issues um, with the reamer not running true through the hole. So I'm going to bore the hole instead, and that will be an exact match then. Um, there's nothing worse than seeing flywheels on an engine running crooked. You know, when you start the engine up, that's the first thing people look at. So I always want them to run true. So anyway, we'll get on with boring that hole out, and then we'll get it in the saw and we'll chop that off. I've ground up a boring bar to fit in this hole. This is going to be um, eventually eight millimeters. Um, I've got to um, bore that out too. So to get in that hole is going to be a smite, quite a small tool. So I've had to sort of grind this away quite a bit. Uh, this is high speed steel. But now I'm going to, uh, the only thing I can do is take light cuts. 
because um, obviously this tool is really thin as it's going to deflect quite a bit if I try and take a too heavy a cut. It's going to take a bit of time. I've got to take about a millimetre out of here. So as long as I take it easy, we'll be okay. <laughs> I machined the other side of the flywheel off um, camera and I've now made two of those. So the next job is to start drilling all these holes for the um, detailing for the spokes. Uh, it says to do that on the rotary table but I'm going to set up on the um, DRO and um, do it. Just per, um, you know, personal preference really. So we're going to set up, I've drawn these in CAD and we're going to set up to these distances and obviously drill those holes um, all the way round. So once those holes are all drilled we then move over to here and we've got to start cutting like the triangle out if you like. So from centre line if we rotate this 34 degrees that will give us our um, exact perpendicular line here. So we can then machine that and then machine round and then once we've done all those um, by rotating 60 degrees at a time so from this one, if we rotate 60 degrees, we'll get to the next one. Another 60 degrees, we'll get to the next one, and so on. And then after that, we obviously need to work the opposite way and then machine these, you know, the other side. But you'll see that um, as we progress.